Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of another Aesthetica wig. This one's called Amy, and the color on Amy is R32F. Um, I like this color a lot, and I think that the color code kind of throws people off because there are other colors from other manufacturers that have similar color codes that look completely different. So I figured I might want to show you what this one by Aesthetica actually looks like. As you can see, this is a very, very dark color. It's actually kind of like a dark brown base. Um, and, at, and at the bottom, it's very, very dark brown, almost like, like a number four. And then on top of that, you've got that 32, which is like uh, uh, kind of like a medium, uh, sort of like a cherry auburn. But it's almost like a highlight on top of the dark brown. So uh, that's what the F is for. It's a fashion highlight on top of that uh, dark brown. So it's a dark color, overall effect being a dark auburn color. Very, very pretty, pretty color. And as you can see in this natural light, it's not like super garish looking. It's not like, oh my gosh, super red. It's just kind of red, you know, it perks up the color, makes it look really, really pretty and tasteful. You know, it's a really, really pretty red. So let's talk some specs about Amy and then I'll give you some impressions that I had about it. So the bang on Amy is 7.5 inches. It's really, really long. The sides are also quite long as you can see here. Um, and I would say that those are around 11 inches or so. Um, they say they're 4.5, but I think they're talking more about from the crown down because it's so incredibly heavily layered. Um, and the nape is two inches, so it's pretty short in the back. This one is super lightweight as well. Amy is only two ounces. So let me go ahead and fluff her up for you a little bit. This cap is super, super comfortable. Gonna fluff her up and now I'm gonna turn around so you can see what Amy looks like on all sides. My first thought about this wig, and, and so now I'm gonna get to the impressions part of this. My first thought of this wig is it reminded me a lot, actually, of the All That Jazz wig that was recently discontinued by Raquel Welch. Um, so if you are looking for a replacement for that wig, this one would be a really great place to start. It doesn't have as much volume as All That Jazz, but you can approximate that pretty easily if you just fluff it up and use some synthetic safe hairspray in the back. But the overall shape and effect is very, very, very similar. Another similar style would be something like Angie by Envy. But I do think that Angie by Envy um, and the All That Jazz had much bigger caps and tended to have a lot more um, volume. This one is much more conservative, as most Aesthetica wigs tend to be. They tend to be more conservative because they're made to be kind of like medical replacement wigs, um, prosthetics for people who have lost their hair, either to chemotherapy or for medical reasons. So I think that Amy is adorable. Of the 2015 fall Aesthetica offerings, I think so far this one's probably my favorite just because I like all these little PC layers around the front. I, I really think that's flattering. I, I always like wigs that have long fronts like that because, you know, I got a lot of face real estate. I want something that's going to give it a frame and this definitely helps with that. I just find that very, very flattering. I also think that there's something very fresh about any wig that's got this kind of uh, length in the front with that kind of length in the back and all this razor texture. So Amy does have a lace front. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that for you. That's a pretty good lace front there. The knots are really nice and small. You could trim that a little bit more if you wanted to. It's a little loosey goosey. I made a video on how I like to tighten my lace fronts. And if you have that issue with your lace fronts bubbling up at all, you can go ahead and watch that video. It's a real super easy fix. Um, on this one though, you might not even need to do it. Just get a little bit of lace tape might take care of it or heck just trimming it might be enough to take care of it there. I'm going to go ahead and take Amy off now uh, so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. Okay so this is what Amy looks like on the inside. 
So you can see Amy's got a real generous lace front. That lace front goes about a third of the way up the inside of the cap, which is really nice because it kind of gives you like part of a monofilament top for none of the price of a monofilament top, which is awesome. And then this whole like top area above that is permatease, right where this lace is. The back and the sides are open wefted. There is no extended nape here. Uh, it is a hook enclosure and you can kind of like just hook it in there bloop, to adjust the size up to a uh, half an inch all the way around. Those Stetica caps are very generous and you can see by how much they stretch that you can really, really uh, get those in and out quite a bit. And I want to show you the permatease here helps uh, hide the wefts. So if somebody's staring at the uh, top of your head from up above, they don't see tracks. Here is what the monofilament features look like in that lace front. That's actually the lace front, but it goes so far up that it almost looks like part of a mono top, which is awesome. And it's very well done there. And here's the texture in the back of Amy and the sides. And there's the front. And you can see that beautiful, beautiful color. So this has been the Sister Wigs review of the little fresh and flirty Amy wig by Aesthetica in the color R32F, which is a really beautiful dark auburn sort of highlighted color. Uh, my name is Heather. I'm from sisterwigs.com. Please check out my web store if you ever get a chance. If you like what I do with my reviews, I would really appreciate your support by you buying some stuff. <laughs> Just being real. Um, my web store is www.cystrwigs.com. You can follow me on Facebook, um, Sister Ways. You can follow me on Twitter, at Sister Ways. You can follow me Pinterest, Sister Ways. You can follow me, gosh, I'm everywhere. I'm like Instagram, Pinterest. I'm on my fitness pal as Sister Wigs, even though I'm terrible at logging my food. And, you know, so heck, you can follow me all over the web if you want. I, I, I am a nerd and I'm all over the place. <laughs> we could be pals, it'll be awesome. <laughs> I mean, why not, you know? So, all right, well, until next time, have a great day, bye-bye. <laughs>